Hi guys, so this video is about how to not run out of things to say when you're talking to a girl. Um, I'd say that one of the most common sort of beginner problems, if you like, is running out of things to say when you're talking to a girl. And normally it's a case of, you know, you're talking to a girl for like a minute or two, and then it's like, oh shit, I've run out of things to say now, let me just go ask for the number now. Um, and the problem with that is that it doesn't really give enough time for the girl to get to know you, it doesn't give enough time to get a good conversation, and the girl is you know, less likely to either want to give you a number or more likely that she's going to flake afterwards. So either way, you know, you really want to kind of get her to invest and usually that takes a bit of time and it's important that you can, you know, continue a conversation on and on for as long as it needs to be. Ideally, you want to have a conversation that's about, you know, four, five, six minutes long, something like that, um, or longer. Sometimes, you know, the longer it goes, the more likely it is that she's going to invest more more likely that she's not going to flake later on um, so yeah bear that in mind but yeah it depends how much time you have but yeah you don't want, want to you know you don't really want to be talking for like two one minute or two minutes something like that and then it's like oh shit I ran out of what to say now that's not a situation you want to be in so the way to not run out of things to say there's basically two ways two key ways so the first is to actually listen to what she's saying and kind of absorb what she says and then have a response based on what she says. Like typically what tends to happen a lot is that, you know, a beginner will say, you know, have a conversation about one particular topic then the girl replies by saying yes, blah, 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 in response to that topic and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you ask a new question, it's like, and then it just ends up being a series of kind of boring questions that you just answer in a kind of interview style. That's one thing you definitely want to avoid. In a good conversation, what tends to happen is that you'll have a topic and then you'll respond to one aspect of that um, that particular topic and then she'll respond to that topic and then it's a backwards and forth but on the same topic. Um, and then you want to keep on doing that until that thread runs dry and then you start a new topic. So what I mean by like actually listening to her is to you know listen to what she actually says, whatever it is, and actually draw something on that whether it's a tease, whether it's a follow-up question, whatever it is, it's it's about actually listening to what she actually says and then continuing on that strand of, or that particular thread of conversation or, or on that topic, basically. For example, a girl might say, oh, I'm just on my way to meet a friend right now. And then, you know, a beginner might say, oh, cool, uh, so where are you from? And it's like a new conversation topic. Um, whereas, you know, a good thing to say when a girl says, uh, I'm just on my way to meet a friend would be something like oh so you're going to have drinks at this time it's a bit early for that isn't it or just something like that it's like a little tease kind of I'll be like oh so you're going to get drinks now oh it's too bad I caught you when you weren't drunk enough for me to come and approach you something like that you know something kind of just something that kind of you take what she says and then you kind of reflect on that or you like pivot on that rather than just you know starting a whole new statement or a whole new thread of conversation so that's kind of the main way to not run out of things to say and that's how you can um, elongate a conversation to last like four five six minutes with a girl without making it boring without actually and actually having her actually engage in the conversation so like the second way to do it would be to always have like some kind of like new uh, conversation starters or questions in your mind um, that you can apply to every single interaction. So these could be things like, uh, so what brought you to London or what, whatever your city is, if she's like foreign. Or you could be like, oh, so what are you doing for work then? What what are you doing in right now? Uh, where are you off to? Something like that. Those are good questions that you can apply to almost every scenario. And that's like a, a conversation starter that will lead to more and more, which you can then um, you know, start a conversation with. These are kind of boring questions, yes, but it is good to throw in a few boring questions just as long as like not all the not all of the conversation topics are boring because then it's like she's not gonna like remember you and it's just gonna be a boring conversation. Um, and then it's also good, like, you know, it's always good as I say in before in a lot of videos, is it's always good if you can like, you know, throw in a few spikes into the conversation, a few little teases, that sort of thing, or just something to kind of spice up the conversation so it's not boring and, and it's not too platonic. So it's good if you can throw in a few like little you know things that will spice things up a bit. And sometimes it's not really possible sometimes to actually think of something 
in relation to what she says to spice it up a bit. So you can have just like, you know, a few statements that will just spice it up no matter what. So for example, you could just say something like, so what do you do when you're not chatting up random guys on, on the street or something? That's something I sometimes say. And it's just a way to kind of tease her without having to uh, have it related to a conversation that's already being had in the conversation. It can be just an entirely new like conversation starter. And then another one um, that one of my mates likes to use sometimes is we should get married sometime or so when are we getting married, something like that. And that's another way to spice it up a bit without making it too boring. It kind of breaks rapport a little bit and it, it's a way to kind of engage her in a kind of a non-platonic way if you like. And um, it's a way to kind of start off a new topic and not in a boring way so that's what's that's why it's effective so yeah hopefully that helps uh, just remember like you know it's good it's good to you know ask a few boring questions uh, but just make sure it's not all boring questions and um, yeah obviously make sure you're not like jumping from one topic to one topic to a different topic constantly make sure you're kind of staying on topic for a little while before moving on to the next topic and yeah that way you shouldn't run out of things to say cheers for watching if you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com.